the minimum value of f of x mod of x min 3 minus x plus modulus of x plus 2 plus modulus of 5 minus x is equal to beautiful question and right? beautiful question to start with we need to understand one funda right? if you have two points on the number line p and q distance between these two points is nothing but q minus p larger number minus smaller number 4 and 5 5 minus 4 minus 4 and 2 2 minus minus 4 3 and 7 7 minus 3 that will be the distance between these two points if you are given just two points on the number line how do we know which is greater some p and q on the number line i don't know which is greater which is lesser the distance between them is modulus of q minus p modulus of p minus q the other takeaway here modulus of p minus q is modulus of q minus p both are same talking about modulus whether i'm doing 3 minus 5 or 5 minus 3 modulus of that is going to be 2 beautiful very simple very wonderful idea right so therefore i'm going to rewrite this point I'm going to say this is modulus of x minus 3 plus modulus of x minus minus 2 plus modulus of x minus 5. Right? You don't even have to, you don't even need to rewrite this, but I'm rewriting that. Why? Because I'm going to think about the points 3, minus 2, and 5. Those are the three points that are interesting to me. So now I'm going to mark those three points in the number line. Let's draw the number line. We're going to talk about, let's put a 0 here. We want minus 2. We're interested in 3. 1, 2, 3. We're interested in 5. Right? Now, if our point x were anywhere on the number line, so it could be this side, it could be that side, it could be somewhere in between. Anywhere on the number line, then let's say we have a point x here. Then this distance is modulus of 2 plus x. This distance is modulus of 3 minus x or modulus of x minus 3. This distance is modulus of 5 minus x. Beautiful. So far, so good. So this whole question is saying find the minimum value of this distance plus this distance plus this distance. Lovely. So now think about it. Our point can be less than minus 2. It can be more than 5. It can be between minus 2 and 5. Right? If it is less than minus 2, I'm going to measure this distance from all the way till 3, all the way till 5. If it were at minus 2, I'm measuring 3, 5. If it were at 5, I'm measuring 5 to 3, 5 to minus 2. Right? So, so the, the, the funda here is very clear. They are measuring from x distance to minus 2, distance to 2, distance to 5 and adding all of them up. Straight away, we can sense that having a point in between minus 2 and 5 is easier. You're going to simplify your distances. Otherwise, think about it. I calculate the distance from x to minus 2 and then x to 5. This entire 7 is extra. And then x to 3. This x to minus 2, I can imagine x being at minus 2 and this distance being removed from all three lines. From all three lines, this distance will be removed. So, minus 2 scores better than any number less than minus 2. Exact same reasoning, 5 will score better than any number greater than 5. Or quite simply, the best case scenario is if our number sits between minus 2 and 5. So, now let's, let's chase that. Let's draw the diagram again. Oops, I'm going to talk about a minus 2, 3, and 5. I know x has to be in between minus 2. So I'm going to imagine this somewhere here. So this is the distance between x and minus 2. This is the distance between x and 5. And this is the distance between x and 3. So we add this, this, and this. And now think about this. If our x were somewhere here, so let's call it x1, call this x2, minus 2 to x2, x2 to 5, and x2 to 3. We'll add these three. What I want to make sure that you get is the number, if it is in between distance to minus 2, distance to 5, those two always add up to 7. This and this adds up to 7, this and this adds up to 7. Wherever you keep x, 
here, here, here. So that number is 7. Now the additional part is only this distance x to 3, either x1 to 3 or x2 to 3. When will that be minimum? Quite easy. Put x is 3. x lies between minus 2 and 5. The best case scenario is when x is 3. When x is 3, this goes to 0. This is 5. This is 2. Adding up to 7. Or the minimum value is 7. It will always be, the minimum value will always be the distance between the largest of the numbers and the smallest of the numbers. The middle number can be anywhere. The minimum value will remain the same. When the minimum value is achieved, when x is that middle number. Between minus 2 and 5, wherever x is, these two will add up to 7. And on top of that, if you want the overall total to be minimum, we look at taking this as low as possible. Put x equal to 3, best case scenario, sum is 7.